Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to answer short answer questions. Many students find short answer questions amongst the easiest to answer. You have to read a text and answer a set of questions about it using one to three words. However, because this type of question is generally not too difficult, it's tempting to rush through it. This results in silly mistakes being made. So be careful not to lose valuable marks this way. To help you get the best possible score and to avoid the common mistakes, I'm going to cover the following things. The skills needed, some key tips, a proven strategy and step-by-step -step instructions to complete a sample of question. Short answer questions are designed to test a range of reading skills. They test your ability to quickly scan the text for the general meaning, identify key words, scan for specific information and recognise synonyms and paraphrasing. Now for five top tips. Tip 1. Read the questions first, then the text. It's important that you understand what's being asked in the questions before you look at the text. You will then know the main ideas to look out for as you skim read. Tip 2. The answers will be in order in the text. So, once you've found the answer to question 1, you'll know that the answer to question 2 will come soon after, and so on. Tip 3. Don't go over the word limit stated for your answers. For example, it might be no more than three words and or a number. If you do go over, your answer will be marked wrong, even if the information you give is correct. Tip 4. Use only the actual words from the text for your answer, although you may need to change the tense of any verbs you use to ensure that your answer is grammatically correct. Tip 5. Most questions will contain synonyms or paraphrasing of the text, that is, the meaning will be the same but the wording slightly different. It's now time to look at my step-by-step -step strategy. I'll show you how to apply it when we work through the sample question, but first you need to understand it. Read the instructions very carefully, taking particular note of the word limit for your answers. Then, read the questions and try to understand what's being asked. Next, underline key words in the questions. Also think about possible synonyms for them. Don't worry if there are unfamiliar words. If they also appear in the text, you may be able to work them out in context. Alternatively, synonyms you do understand may have been used. Now skim read the text. Be alert for the key words and synonyms you identified, but don't read in detail. You can read the first sentence of each paragraph in a little more detail than the rest of the text, as this will introduce the main idea of the paragraph. When you've done this, go back and reread question 1. Then scan the first paragraph, maybe the second as well, until you find the location of the answer. Read this part of the text in detail to find the exact word or words you need to answer the question. Now you just need to repeat this process for each of the questions. We're now ready to work on our sample question. Please note that this example is not from a real test paper. I've created it myself to demonstrate the strategy I've just outlined and to give you an opportunity to practice it. The text in your test will be a lot longer with longer paragraphs. It is, however, an authentic text from the website of the World Wildlife Fund. Here are the instructions and questions. You can see the text itself on the next slide. Here's the text. I created a PDF of the instructions, questions and text that you can download to make them easier to work on. You'll find the link to it in the notes below this video. I'll now show you step by step how I would answer this question. I start by reading the instructions and noting that the word limit for each answer is no more than three words and or a number. 
I then read the questions and try to understand what I'm being asked to find out. Next, I underline the key words in the questions, thinking about possible synonyms as I do so. I then skim read the text to get a general understanding of what it's about, keeping a lookout for the key words I've selected. Once I've done this, I'm ready to search the text for the answers. Since the answers will be in order, I work through the list of questions one by one. The key word I've chosen to scan for in question one is compared. I didn't select the perhaps more obvious African rhinoceros because I know from the title of the passage that the whole text is about African rhinos. Each of the questions is asking about something specific about the rhinos, so I need to pick key words that will lead me to that subject matter. The synonym for compared to that immediately comes to mind is like, so I scan for this as well, and I spot it in the very first sentence. The rhinoceros is Africa's armoured giant like a tank on legs, and has been on our planet for millions of years. Does this information answer the question? Yes, it does. It says that a rhinoceros is like a tank on legs. I do a quick scan of the rest of the paragraph to make sure that this really is the right answer before filling it in and moving on to the next question. Remember to take extreme care that you don't write more words than are allowed, which in this case is no more than three words. If I write a tank on legs, my answer would be marked wrong because I've used four words, even though I've given the correct information. So be really careful here. For question two, I scan for the keyword 100. I suspect that it may be written in figures as 100. This is a common trick that test setters like to use to try and catch you out. On scanning, I find that I'm right. It's in paragraph two. It reads, but the southern white rhino is a conservation success story. It's been helped back from under 100 in 1895 to over 20,000 in the wild today. I now know where the answer is located. I also notice that below in the question and under in the answer are synonyms, so that's another clue that I'm looking in the right place. I go back and read the question again to find out what information I need to know. Then read this sentence in the text in detail to find the actual answer. It is the Southern White Rhino. Question three contains a date, 1992. Dates are always useful as keywords as they are easy to spot when skimming and scanning. I also think that the word black is important as the text so far has been about white rhinos. I underline illegally killed as well as this is the main idea of the question. Both black and 1992 are easy to find and lead me to the sentence with the answer in. This is, for the black rhino, slightly smaller with a more pointed top lip, the worst period was between 1970 and 1992, when around 96% of them were lost to wide-scale poaching. However, I don't see illegally killed, so I need to think about synonyms. In fact, the term poaching has been used instead. The other synonym I need to know is a symbol for percentage, which has been used instead of the word. Once I've worked these out, the answer is clear. It's 96%. Having selected the keywords from the final question, for which I've chosen criminals, improved and success, I find that none of them are in the text, so I must think about how the text might paraphrase the meaning of the question. I know that the answer will be in the final paragraph, so I read this in detail. The first sentence, which gives me the main idea of the paragraph, is about poaching and poachers, so I can guess from the context that poachers are criminals, even if the word is unfamiliar to me. The only word I can see that could be a synonym of improved is increasingly. The words following it are better equipped, so I can make a good guess that this is the answer, 
even if I don't fully understand the meaning of the whole sentence. I quickly read the final sentence in the paragraph to make sure that I haven't missed anything that could be a better answer. I haven't, so this must be it. I hope you've found these step-by-step -step instructions helpful. Now use what you've learnt to practice answering short answer questions and you'll soon get the hang of them. You'll find lots more help with the IELTS reading test, including strategies for answering the other types of questions, in my other videos and on my website ieltsjackie.com. There's a link to the website in the notes below this video. I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.